What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care as we now have the Shovel Claw, allowing us to dig into grounds and walls as Knuckles, and we're playing one of the best levels for Knuckles ever, considering this is still the Chaos Emerald, Master Emerald collecting type level types, this is pretty cool because it's designed really well for his kind of aesthetic, there's a whole bunch of massive towers and a whole big place to glide around in, it's just the perfect recipe for him, like seriously. Oh well, now, ugh, let me, uh, there we go, give these key. Uh, I was gonna say actual things about it. Uh, this is just a personal favourite of mine because it's well designed level and I just really like the music and everything about it just seems to suit me nice and well. Now it's in a shady place behind a thick rocky wall. I'll keep that in mind. I'm mostly just going by the radar to tell where I'm actually supposed to be, but oh well. Um, I'd quite like to see this level um, redone in, I don't know, a future Sonic game, because you know, Sonic games like redoing their things these days, and I don't know, I just really like to see other levels, I'd like to see Metal Harbor from the last episode, and I'd also like to see Pumpin' Hill again, uh, can you give me the third one? Church Mountain, okay, every, uh, that's Church Mountain over there, every thing gets, oh, what am I saying, every Master Emerald piece gets three hints, and you, it will, you know, the computers will tell you what they are. Shady place? This is not a shady place. Somewhere dark? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Let's not, uh, let's not fall to our death, huh? You know, I'm pretty sure it'll just wind us right back up again. It's closer. Find a thick wall, it says, so it's like over there. It's it's hidden in the wall here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, we go. Cool. Now, yeah, now that we have the digging ability, you're going to find a lot of Chaos Emeralds are not visible in clear sight, and you've got to actually dig around to find it, or just, you know, rely on your radar even more, which is fine. You can handle it. All right, uh, let me get this rocket taking way up high. Still not nearby. Good lord, where is this thing? I guess the last tower? Is this a tower? I don't entirely remember. I don't really remember the layout of this place. I just know remember like the assets. I know they're connected somewhere. That's about it, you know? Ooh, this is actually very cool. Right, there's not a there's not a Chaos Emerald here. Noted. And I didn't get that last balloon because I'm a failure of a person. Um let me find a monitor and sure, another chow container, sure, why not? that sound? Oh, I remember, uh, since we got a version that shows off uh, Big the Cat, I can show off where he is in this one. So as soon as I find where the train is, because he's by the train. There it is. No, nope, that's just a... Is that a train? No, it's just a track. Where? I'm very lost. This is the beginning. Oh, well, can I at least get something? Under the tracks. Great, well, we're going to the train tracks anyway, so it's all fitting. There we go, here we are. So, Big the Cat is right through this door here. Don't know how I, well, actually, I do know how I know. Hi. Hello, I'm just here giving, well, giving a wave. Um, I actually have already started a Let's Play on this game. Way back when I was doing a Wind Waker HD Let's Play, I also tried to play Sonic Adventure 2. I'd done a whole bunch of research, I'd memorized where all the upgrades were and where all the big the cat appearances were, because that was part of the Let's Play. Three Scarecrow Brothers, cool, don't know where that one is. It's right by the Scarecrow Mountain, basically. Um, but I ended up not doing it because it honestly just turned out to be quite bad. Like, no other reason for it, it was just not very good. Like, the whole of the, uh, this is Pumpkin Hill, thank you. The whole of, uh, City Escape was just me crappily singing City Escape to the song. It was just not good, and I didn't like it. And between three scarecrows on the mountain side. Here we go. Oh, I guess I dug deep. There we go. But yeah, there we go. Also, this level reminds me of breadsticks, because when I was playing this as a kid, once, I was eating breadsticks out of friends. Odd little connections that I have with the game, but there you go, there they are. Not too bad. This would have been my third ever Let's Play, but it ended up being like my 23rd. <laughs> Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears and listen to me very carefully. My name is Dr. Eggman, the world's greatest scientist, and soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now, let me see. 
beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> Well now. Look, half of the moon is gone? Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up. But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him. Tails? The Chaos Emeralds are like magnets. They have the power to attract each other. Time for finally another tailed mission. It feels like it's been ages. Maybe I'm wrong. And now we're out on the streets trying to destroy the law, basically. They're trying to shoot us down for whatever reason. And actually, yeah, why are we being arrested? May I may I guess because we escaped prison. Either way, though, still, it's like there's got bigger things to deal with right now, surely. No? Oh well. Anyway, this won't take us too long. As I said, tails levels are kind of short. I think this one's quite lengthy. Which is nice, actually. I quite, I really like the Tails levels. I don't know, it looks fun. Although, my controller, my control stick is really making a bit of an issue out of all this. But here's the thing, you can't possibly go through this path the first time. You have to go this way, and then take a detour this way, because you can't go further, to get the booster, allowing you to hover, like so. Only now can you actually go through the upper path the first time, so it's impossible to do this fastest on the first go. Makes sense anyway, because you need upgrades to move faster anyway in general. I would imagine it would be the case. Um, now, there is a glitch where if you press A really quickly, you get extra height. When you're, like, you're hovering above where you would be normally if you jump, so that's pretty helpful. Let's not get crushed, shall we? Um, that's a Chaos container over there. Thank you. i got to get the best player in the Chaos Garden. You just have to. He's the best players in there. He flies forever, remember? Alright. I don't know what the point of these platforms are, but hey, don't question it. They have they have roads that go like in the middle of nowhere. In fact, actually, we're gonna see that today, just like we saw in our speed highway from the first game. Just roads that are just impossible to get to. Oh well. So I like how they've got Tails at the forefront of Wanted in this level, even though clearly you'd think Sonic would be a bit more important. Well, I guess actually no. Tails does have very clearly like a, a military weapon that he's been using against the military, so maybe they're justified, but still go this way for a rocket and then become the rocket yourself to boost over. Uh, can I get those two? No, I can't. Oh well. Get rid of these guys. I mean, honestly, this is just a matter of point and shoot. Go forward and press B to you know, go the way you want to go. Not too difficult. Just fun bonus stuff. Get the combos. It's just, it's just fun, easy, good gameplay. I like it too much. Maybe. I couldn't get that balloon because it was a shame. Up here, there's a thing on the back of the side there, but oh well, I don't need to worry about it too much. Give me yes! Not this, yes! Don't shoot me, give me more things, I'll take all the animals in the world. I don't know why you're holding them in containers, but apparently you are. There we are. Get up on here and hey, let's get a shortcut. Nope, not an option. Alrighty. Never mind, I think I've got to hit a switch to make him go up again, and I don't have the steel box that can get me to go up there, so I can't take that shortcut. Oh well. Oh, 
gosh, I just love the music so much in this game. Uh, there we go, perfect. Don't want to do that loop again. Oh, you are still alive. How did I not even notice that? I must have been really tunnel visioning, tunnel visioning that. There's totally a secret around the back there. But, oh, it's a... Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a mystery thing that we can't even access right now. Great. Uh, I've now spoiled that that thing's a mystery thing, but oh well. They're in every level. You need an upgrade way later in the game from any of the characters to actually get access to it. Oh well. Whoop! You can hover infinitely, I believe. You just will slowly go downhill, so you won't be able to fly, you know, across the whole level. Uh, okay, there we go. That was really janky. But, oh well, can we climb up this? Thank you. Someone's shooting at me. It's you and you. Get out of here. Oh, you. Look at that cityscape in the background. So 2D, but still kind of nice. I like it. Hello, Sonic Team. Odd that it's just got SonicTeam.com as an advertisement. Even though that's supposed to be, you know, the world's against Sonic right now with the military and all that. Who knows? Oh, you can get out of here. Hello, you. You can get out of here. Don't shoot your thing at me. Thank you. I'm glad that destroying the main motherboard destroys its weapons too. Very convenient. Right, let's move, shall we? Since I can't actually go forward at all. You're going to crash down on me. I can see it. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if that was actually previously part of the level. That'd be cool if it was. Not that I can... Well, I guess I can confirm by actually paying attention, but... Oh, well. And get rid of all you, and... That's about it from me. This thing's falling on me, and I can't dodge it. There we go. I did it! With that scary rumbling constantly going in the background. Bum, 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 bum. Very good. Side of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Alright, it looks like we're uh, doing another Knuckles stage. No Sonic today, or maybe I'm just misinterpreting what we actually got today. This is the Aquatic Mines. This is an okay level. I like the upgrade you can get in this place. Overturned Minecart. Helpful. I have a feeling it's a little bit below us, actually. You can adjust the water level in this place, because this whole place is kind of water based with a series of switches. If we go up here, we can find our first one that brings it hopefully way low. I'm hoping three means way low and not way high, but I could be wrong. Uh, give me this. Uh, can I have another hint, please? I, I, I know that. Switch number two and three on the narrow path. So, like, here? No. Here we go. It's in this little part here. It's close. Yeah. Nice. Here's a pipe we saw in an earlier episode. If you whistle at it, animal pops out. Nice. Near the blue flame. I do not remember a blue flame, so sorry, can't help with that too much. Now here's a thing that I do want to deal with. This little region down here. This, when the level is the right level, which apparently was when you hit the top switch, makes us go underwater, but not nearly as much as we have to. We want to go through this path because we really want the upgrade on the other end of it. As much as I didn't actually do this as a kid because I hate water levels and drowning. I don't actually hate drowning. Well, I would hate drowning if it ever happened to me, obviously, but you know, I'm not scared of drowning in real life beyond the reason. But didn't want to come in because you're going to drown. Thankfully, uh, I don't need that ring. Up here is exactly the reverse of that problem, the air necklace, allowing us to breathe underwater, so now we don't have to stress about anything ever again. It's an upgrade that I definitely like because it makes every water level less scary, even though there's only really one other one after this. Still though, I like it, I need it, I use it every time now that I know it's here. And gosh, it gave me a lot of trouble when I didn't have it as a kid. <coughs> Excuse me. Ironic, you have to face your fear to uh, embrace it and overcome it. How poetic. Right, now let's go find that blue flame, eh? Eh? Also, there's a chaos key right down at the uh, bottom of the place in a little tunnel. Uh, there's a region where there's a whole bunch of skulls and possibly flames, but I don't remember exactly where it is. So. 
Although, it's just going higher when I go up, so... Is it really? Oh! I see something blue over there, actually. Alright, I think I've got to raise the level, which you can do with these two switches here, to actually make it so I can actually reach the place. Nope. Number one it is. Oh, I can see the symbols actually tell you how high the water level is. Huh. Never noticed that. Oh wow, there's a lot of blue flame here. Okay. It's closer. Blue flame near the blue flame. I am really dumb, apparently. Bit above it, around it, underneath it. Where is it? High up, there we go. Uh, are you sure? Am I blind? I can't. Oh, I guess high up meant just up on this level. You know what? Maybe I'm extra dumb. It was right underneath. Okay, that's how I got it wrong. Cool. Here's another chaos container right at the top. One at the top, one at the bottom. Some extra animals. Lovely. Yeah, nothing else here. Okie dokie. I can, no, actually I'm alright with the... No, 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 let's get that water level out of here, actually. Sorry, I'm a little bit iffy, apparently, on this. Uh, do I have any stories about this place? Not really, just generic. I remember taking a long time a handful of times in this level, so that's about it. Uh, chase the skull. There's a skull I gotta chase. There's a lot of skulls in this level. I don't know who's doing this, but they're quite the interior decorator. Hmm. Not that way. <coughs> There's a skull that moves? The ghost room. Okay, there we go. That's what I need. Although I still don't actually remember where it is. So I think actually might have been that, that pathway I found. A room behind the caution sign that warns about the ghosts. A room. I don't remember where the rooms are. It's hard to tell. Not there. Okay. In six minutes? Oh lord. Okay, I found I found it. It's right down here, but I need the different water levels so that I can actually access it. So give me a moment. It's a bit awkward to maneuver this place because it's kind of hard to tell where you are because the tunnels change depending on the water level because of the floating platforms. It's a bit iffy in that sense, but kind of. Oh, I see it now. That sign. It's right there. I'm not the smartest human in the world. Let's try this again. This is the one other one that we didn't go into. This is not the underwater bit. It's just, it looks the same to me. Right, and then follow the skull. Uh, skull, skull. Here we go. It's closer. Lovely. I Took me seven him. minutes. Not the best. I have to try harder. Yeah, that's the worst rank you can get. Already got it in Green Forest. Whatever that was called. Oops. Sheesh. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. 
I'm following the president's limo right now. If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there. Well, we'll do that and we'll catch the president next time. For now though, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care and I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>